In this video, you'll see how to provision users in AWS Control Tower using AWS Single Sign-On, or SSO. With Control Tower, you can create users using pre-configured groups, manage account access from a centralized location, and create customized permission sets for groups and users within those accounts. AWS Control Tower establishes a landing zone that is based on best practices blueprints and enables governance using security, compliance, and operations guardrails you can choose from a prepackaged list. For this example, we'll focus on the two most common user provisioning scenarios in the AWS Control Tower environment. To get started, let's navigate to the Control Tower dashboard. The landing zone has already been configured for this AWS environment, so let's navigate to the Users and Access section. The landing zone is set up with a directory for managing user identities and single sign-on, or SSO, to give users federated access across accounts. It also includes pre-configured permission sets and user groups to help you manage specialized roles within your organization. Let's navigate to the AWS Single Sign-On page. Here, you can centrally manage SSO access to your AWS accounts and cloud applications. First, let's see how to create a new SSO user account and assign it to an existing group. Specifically, you'll see how to create an account for an external auditor and give them read-only access to all of your AWS accounts. First, let's navigate to the directory and add the new user. Now fill in some basic information about this user. For the purposes of this video, let's choose the option to generate a one-time password to share with the user. You can also add the user to groups so that they inherit access to AWS accounts and applications that are assigned to those groups. Let's select the pre-configured group AWS Security Auditors, which provides read-only access to all accounts. The new user account has been created. You can copy the sign-in details to share with the user. Next, let's navigate to the user portal and sign in as this user. Type in the username and password you copied. Since this is the user's first time signing in, they'll be prompted to select a new password. Select the AWS account to access, in this case, AWS Training. Notice that the only permission set available to access the account is AWS Read Only Access. This user is now signed in to the AWS Management Console for that account. Let's navigate to a service that an auditor would be interested in, such as CloudTrail. As you can see, this account has permissions to view all events recorded by CloudTrail. Let's see if it's also possible to create a trail. Notice that when you try to create a trail as this user, you're informed that this option is not available. That's because this user only has read access to this account. Now, let's look at a second scenario, where you'll see how to create a custom permission set to assign to a user. Specifically, you'll see how to enable a developer to access an account with permissions to deploy a code pipeline. Let's take a look at the AWS accounts. Here, you can see all the AWS accounts in this organization. In this case, a DevOps account has already been provisioned using Control Tower. On this Permission Sets tab, you can see the different permission sets that were provided by default when Control Tower was first set up. Let's create a new permission set. Select the option to create a custom permission set, then type in a name and description. Scroll down and select the option to attach an AWS Managed Policy. Let's search for the Identity and Access Management, or IAM, policy that provides full access to AWS Code Pipeline. Select the policy and create the permission set. Next, navigate to the directory and create a new group. This group will be used for all DevOps administrators. Now let's create a new user and assign him to this group. As before, provide some basic user information. Add this user to the group we just created. 
this user has been created successfully. Finally, let's tie these pieces together by creating a mapping between the custom permission set, the DevOps admin group, and the AWS account we want to grant permissions to. To do so, let's return to the AWS account screen. Select the account to grant permissions to, and click Assign Users. Instead of assigning a specific user, let's assign the group we created. Next, choose a permission for this group. Let's select the custom permission set we defined earlier. The configuration is now complete. Let's verify this by signing in as the developer. Select the account and permission set to access. Now let's navigate to AWS Code Pipeline to test the permission set. As you can see, this user has permission to create a new code pipeline. You've just seen how to provision users an AWS control tower using AWS Single Sign-On. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.